Good morning, Wednesday. called the sexy bitch bowl and I subbed out a couple things I got it with chicken instead of salmon and extra veg instead of quinoa and yeah no sauce and Tyler's having a shit ton of ground turkey and no, rice. Don't tell anyone but I brought the turkey. <laughs> yeah he did. So <laughs> I'm gonna smother this shit in hot sauce. <laughs> bon appetit. off vlog number one of the 30 day challenge I am going to tell you guys how to become a sponsored athlete I find that it's fitting as I am here in Vegas uh, with my sponsor and I'm gonna tell you guys how I got sponsored so I remember last year saying I was watching the Olympia on the live stream and I remember saying I'm going to be at Olympia next year with NLA for her like I'm going to and if it's not with NLA for her it's I'm going no matter what but I'm going with NLA for her and uh, here I am a year later in Vegas for the Olympia with NLA for her I'm so happy so um, this is how I went about getting my sponsorship I started genuinely using a brand so I've tried so many fat burners like I used to be addicted to buying supplements so I would buy fat burners from like Popeyes GNC like anywhere that I could and I tried so many different ones none of them that I really liked so um, eventually I came across the NLA for her line when they first came out in 2000 they came out in 2012 I believe and I started using them in 2013 November of 2013 and uh, I tried them and I actually I liked the results uh, I liked the energy that it gave me so I got a package that had the pre-workout the protein powder the fat burner and the aminos and uh, I started using the fat burner I really liked how it gave me energy and reduced my sweet tooth and I liked the results it helped me get the results that I wanted. I liked the protein powder because it's lactose free and gluten free. Um, it's up well with my stomach. I have a really sensitive digestive system so that was a plus. Uh, I really liked the aminos because it wasn't like a bright color that the food coloring would hurt my stomach and I really liked the uplift pre-workout because it gave me really good pump, it gave me good energy, clean energy, it gave me like vascularity and it didn't hurt my stomach either from all the fillers and dyes. So um, those were the four things that I tried out to start with and you know I absolutely loved them. I'm not lying when I say I loved them when I first started using them and I was like 
I love this brand. So I'm sticking with this brand because it is everything that I like. Uh, I love it. And I was like, you know what? Like I started using it religiously and I'm like, I want to be sponsored by these people. Like I want to be sponsored by Annalie for her. I really love what they stood for. Uh, women empowerment. Um, they have really inspirational women on the team and like I liked their movement. I liked their products. And so I said, I'm going to be sponsored by these people. Uh, it was like, I was like really wishing for this for a really long time because uh, I sent in a athlete resume I think two different times two or three different times to Kevin uh, my manager who I started talking with back in the day uh, I said like I didn't have very many Instagram followers or anything like I just started competing and I said you know like I really would love to be a part of the team I put together an athlete bio and I sent it to him two different times and I didn't hear anything back at first but we had a good relationship because I had a good following on Instagram and uh, so he kept close tabs on me kind of like took care of me at the time they weren't shipping to Canada so he was uh, specifically shipping me my stuff so I kept a good um, relationship with him and I sent him my athlete bio multiple times and I was just really genuinely using their products and then that escalated to me getting a discount code for my clients uh, because I would recommend the line to my clients and put it in their meal plan and stuff because that's what I use so I trust it with me so I recommend it to my clients and so I got a discount code it was saving them some cash uh, it also was making a little bit of commission for me and I was like, hey, this is sweet. So they knew who I was, they knew my name, uh, sent in multiple athlete bio and I just said to Kevin, I'm like, one day I'm going to be on your team, like one day. So I think it was just the years that went by. It was like, it was two years and in March he reached out to me and he said, hey, like, do you wanna come to the Arnold with us? And I was like, Oh my god, like I was absolutely freaking out. I was like, I screamed when I got this email and I was like, yes, I was like so freaking happy. And that just happened from staying loyal to this brand that I genuinely use and like getting my clients to use it and like they knew who I was. Um, I was making posts about the product because like I use it and like I wanted them to notice me and like I wanted to be sponsored by them. So I was doing these things that uh, you need to do, you need to promote, you need to get attention, you need to uh, promote yourself as a brand, as an athlete, as a trainer, whatever you are. Uh, you need to promote yourself to be like and show them that you can be a valuable asset to the team. So that's what I had been doing for two years and then when I got this email I was absolutely ecstatic. Like I like, oh my god. This is like amazing. And so I went out, they flew me out and uh, we had a really good time and like we all bonded really awesome. And so that was super fun and I was on cloud nine and I, I think that everything just went super well and they just really liked me. And they're like, yeah, he's like, you're welcome to the team basically. So uh, ever since then I get goosebumps thinking about it cause I'm really just so happy that it happened. I really wanted this for a long time. And I stuck to what I wanted. I didn't give up and um, I made it happen and Kevin and Justin made it happen for me and um, my wonderful teammates, they liked me. I bonded well with the girls when I was put in that atmosphere and that's huge. So you need to be able to be uh, bondable with the athletes and not only the athletes, but you need to, if you're gonna be flown to um, these expos, like if they're gonna like wanna meet you and stuff, uh, even when you're not at the expos, you really need to be bondable. Like you need to be approachable, you need to be friendly because you need to be like, nobody wants somebody that's rude or bitchy or anything on their team. You know, like you need to be nice and I was and so the girls liked me and that also um, contrib you contributed to me being on the team. So that's how it went. Um, if I can give you any pointers, here I am now. Uh, my pointers are that I can't stress enough to you is pick one brand that you absolutely love or like if you love two brands like reach out to two brands and see uh, which one picks you up if you love equal them both equally but stick to one brand one or two brands that you really genuinely like and like I genuinely use these products and I believe in them and I've been using them so stuff that you actually believe in 
write up an athlete bio. It needs to be something saying, it needs to be something about yourself, uh, saying who you are, what you do. Um, if you're an athlete, if you're a competitor, then say like, um, you're a national bikini competitor, you're a regional bikini competitor, la la la, and like the shows that you have won. So a little history of, uh, your competition history. What else? Uh, put your vision in there. Uh, what you want to do, uh, what you hope to do, what you have goals to do. Also put in there what you think you can bring to the team, why you think that they should bring you to the team, and uh, put that all together. Make it up into a bio, send it to them, so send them an athlete bio, and really just stay persistent. Stay persistent with the brands that you choose. It takes time. Like I was using their brand for... Um, two years before I got on the team and persistence in just like sticking with it and they know your, who you are, they know your face, like they see your name and just uh, then they'll see that you are somebody that can bring something to the team. So those are the tips that I have on becoming a sponsored athlete. Um, I'm super excited, that's what worked for me and I'm really happy to be here at the Olympia for my first year with NLA for her. So I hope that you guys liked those tips. I hope that you can learn something from them. And, uh, and I hope that you can take that and put it into your life basically. So uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching vlog number one of the 30 day challenge. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it, if you want to see more and don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one.